now one of the most underused classes in android is the class a class called the android called download manager okay this is actually a class that is defined in the android tab package and it was actually added in ap level 9 we can actually use this class to download our files using the system download manager okay so you can see if we were downloading in those files they'll get displayed right here and in fact it allows us to download and then show the downloads right in the notification and then we even get informed when the download is complete so for example suppose i want to download a file i just click right here click download and if we come right here our file is actually downloading you can see the progress is being shown then it come tells us that the download is complete so we have our download in the system bar i can either click this one to open the particular file or i can come and click view all if i click view all you can see i'm able to view all the downloads right here so one of the advantages of this download manager is that it allows us not only to download our files but also to enqueue them okay we can enqueue these particular files if we have them for example if there is no internet connectivity is going to enqueue those particular files and then the moment the internet actually resumes then it can go ahead and download actually it can go ahead and uh, start the downloads so if i want to open the file i can just come click right here and then i can open uh, for example if i want to open it using the gallery i can come right here and just click it and then we're going to be able to see this the image that we did download okay so so far of course our image is being rendered right here if you view all we can view it right here and then if you want to delete it we can just come click right here delete and then it's going to delete so after deleting if i come view all the file is no longer there so of course i can go ahead and redownload it by clicking right here and then it will be downloaded for us in the background thread okay and then of course we can then view it when it's finished so this is what we're going to cover guys right here how to download items how to open them how to view all of them and how to delete them you can actually make use of this particular download manager in your applications more often than you normally do so let's get started so guys before we move over to our code we're going to start by looking at this particular download manager class okay we're going to exploit to see actually its definition its api definition before we go to use it all right so of course there's no better place to get its documentation than in this sdk documentation so if you can see right here it's actually an api that was added in android api level 9 it's a class it does extend the object class the java.wrong.object and in fact it does reside in the android.app package now what is the documentation saying that it is well of course you're being told that it's actually a system service and you can use it to handle the long running http downloads and we're also being told that of course all the clans that are using this particular download manager for example like our application which is also going to be one of those clans we can request that our uri be downloaded to a particular destination file okay for example in our case we did download an image right there that was our request okay then the download manager can then conduct that download in the background thread now it's very important to be aware that while it's taking care of the download it's also taking care of the several http interactions and also it also has automatic retries okay so it can retry these ones it's going to persist this retries even across failures or even across connectivity uh, changes and even across system reboots so that's of course it you can see there are actually several constants associated with this particular class and also there are also several methods okay now one of the main methods we're going to use is the enqueue right here which receives a download manager request and then it enqueues for us our download this is the one which we're going to use okay so that's it guys for their documentation let's go read some code now let's come right here to android studio of course i've assumed you guys have created your project 
First and foremost, we have to come to our build.cradle. My minimum SDK version is Android API level 15. By the way, I created this project with main activity as my template. Okay, so sorry, empty activity as my template. And now you can see now dependencies. I have the constraint route and the app compat. App compat will give me the app compat activity. Constraint layout, as you can imagine, will give me the constraint route. We're not using any third party dependencies. Now we're going to then come to our Android manifest.xml. So right here we're going to have two uh, permissions being added. First we're going to have the Android permission dot internet and secondly Android permission dot write external storage. Why do we need these permissions? Well for internet of course we need to this permission given that we're going to access the internet. Now write external storage we need it because our image or file that we're going to download will need to write it into our external storage. Now that's what we're going to have right there. Then of course I'll come right here and go over to my activity main dot xml. In fact before I go over to it I'll come right here. I have my diamonds dot xml whereby my activity horizontal as well as vertical margins are specified. Then in my colors dot xml I've modified my colors this way and those are the ones we're going to use. Of course in the strings.xml we have our app name. In the styles.xml we have of course our style. Now if you come to the activity main.xml what will we have right here? As you can see we're going to have of course first our linear layout. Then we're going to have of course our header text view which will show the header and then we're going to have our image view and then we're going to have of course this particular linear layout which is going to have of course uh, our download button as well as our view downloads button and then we'll have below them we'll have of course open download button and then our delete download button so delete download button will delete the download open will open that particular uh, item that's been downloaded and then view downloads button will view for us all the downloads then download button will download for us the button that's our layout let's now move over to a java file all right so first we come right here and create our class okay of course android Studio has probably done this one for us and in fact given that the activity is an android component it's already been registered for us okay so we come right here it's extending the app compat activity however it's still a class now we're going to start by having three instance fields first and download manager object now remember this download manager right here is the download manager that we discussed in the android tab package okay which is basically a system service that allows us to handle the http downloads then we're going to have this string which will represent the file name that we're going to download and then and this particular long which is basically the download id or the download identifier now we come first we're going to initialize our downloads manager or download manager how do we do that one well of course to initialize it or to use it you don't instantiate it directly it's a system service so how do we do use it well you use the get system service method now you just pass in right here our download service of course you can see that this get system service it's a method that of course returns for us the, the handle to us a system level service by name okay so we can obtain it of course from within this activity we don't need to invoke it from anywhere it's defined in the context so we can just obtain it by invoking the get system service and then it returns for us a system service which we cast over to a download manager so that download manager is what we'll use to handle our download okay it's actually the system download manager the one that is used by the system so this is our file name okay we give it the name that we'll want our file to be saved with then of course we're going to have this method which will be responsible for downloading the file it as we download we're going to display a notification and as well as the progress so how do we download well first we need a request okay 
so download manager dot request this is going to represent the request the http request which you are going to make so we come download manager dot request request equal to new download manager dot request request of course is an inner class defined in the download manager so that's why we of course reference it from our download manager class then of course in its constructor we need to pass in a uri so we're going to use the pass method of the uri class this is a static method which basically passes our uri of course passes a string into a java.net.uri so we pass in of course the target url for the image so for me i'm just downloading a simple image right here okay so this is where it's hosted it's online and we're going to download it so we pass that string which will be passed into a uri and then passed of course into our request class constructor then of course we're going to set the title for that particular request what's our title my title is voyager it's the voyager image you are downloading then we'll come and then set the description so file is downloading that's the description we're going to show and then we're going to set the destination in external files directory so we invoke this method and pass in first our context which is main activity do this then of course we pass the destination for the download where are we downloading our file to well directory downloads and then lastly we pass in of course the file name then once you've done that one we're going to set the notification visibility to visibility visible notify completed okay is going to notify us when our download is complete remember so far we've actually constructed this request using the builder pattern but we're yet to start the download so how do you do that well we just come and invoke the nq method so this nq method right here of course is defined in the download manager it's going to add our download of course into the download queues okay or in the download queue and the system is going to start it automatically so it's not your responsibility to start it you just enqueue it then of course as long as there's internet the system will start it immediately okay in fact even if you don't have internet when the connectivity changes the system is going to start that download automatically so it will download it and then return for us the download id which we can then use to identify that particular download well that's how we download our file let's also see how we can cancel or delete the download deleting it or cancelling it will remove it from the download manager so if there's a file whether it's a partial download or a complete download is going to be removed so this is how we do it all we need to do is to call the remove method of the download manager class and pass in the download id okay what about we're opening our download maybe for example in our case an image once we've downloaded it we want to open it how do you do that one well we want to use a try catch block so that we can catch a file not found exception so we come download manager dot open downloaded file then we pass in the download id so that's what we're going to do right there now if we have an error of course we're going to show print it in the stack trace and then show the user a toast message show telling him that that file is actually no longer available now that's how to open our download the file that we've downloaded what about if you want to view all the downloads in their queue well we come right here and have this method view all downloads so first we're going to need an intent so we instantiate an intent object then we set the action so we're going to set action as action view downloads okay download manager dot action view downloads because we want to view all the downloads so the system downloads then we come and then invoke the start activity then we pass in that particular intent now having done that one let's see how to of course let's handle the click events for our buttons you guys can remember in our activity main you can see we'd use the on click attributes and then assign them of course the click view method all of them okay click view method click view method so we come right here and define that click view method 
clearly you can see it's receiving a view object now we're going to get the view ids and then switch through them using this particular um switch statement now case r dot id download button if it is the download button that's been clicked well we're going to download file by invoking the download file if it is r dot id dot open download button then we're going to open our download by invoking the open download method if it is the view downloads button then we're going to view all our downloads by invoking the view all downloads method if it is r dot id dot delete button then we're going to delete the downloaded file by invoking the delete downloaded file method basically that's what we do now we come and then override the on create method of our activity this is the method that gets invoked automatically by the system when our activity is created so what will we do we're going to initialize our download manager and basically guys that's all we need to do right there okay so this is the full source code for our simple application how to use the download manager of the system so we're going to post it in your source code all you have to do is just copy paste it or download it and of course you just make sure that in writer manifest you add these two permissions as you said earlier on for now like this video make sure you guys help me share the video okay so that i can get more subscribers and please um visit our website campusha.info and take care okay take care you won't find the source code in our website take care i'll catch you in the next class